Hello, friends. Uh, continuing our explorations into digital dharma and uh, digital deepak dot AI. Please send in your queries uh, or uh, uh, your questions, your queries, your curiosity about fundamental reality to digital deepak dot AI. I will do my best to answer your queries. Some queries may not be answered as we are training uh, digitaldepark.ai, uh, but um, your feedback is very important, so keep giving it. So today I want to share with you the difference between what is called analytic idealism and Advait Vedanta. Um, this has come up because I'm on an email chain right now with Michael Shermer and um, Christoph Koch and Bernardo Castro on discussion of fundamental reality. As you know, Christoph Koch is, um, is a neuroscientist, very much interested in solving the hard problem of consciousness. Michael Sharma is the most <laughs> eminent uh, skeptic. Uh, Sam Harris, who is also on the G, uh, email chain but has not participated, is, um, uh, is an atheist. And uh, we've been having discussions on the nature of reality. And Bernardo Castro, who is a philosopher and a good friend of mine, has been advocating what is called uh, uh, the case for uh, what we call uh, idealism, what he calls analytic idealism. And uh, it's very close to Vedanta. So what are the similarities between Bernardo Castro's uh, analytic idealism and Advait. Here they are. Both approaches posit that consciousness is the fundamental reality. In analytic idealism, everything is a manifestation of a universal mind, while Advait Vedanta asserts that Brahman, universal consciousness, is the ultimate reality. Both views, analytic idealism and Advait Vedanta, consider the physical world as an illusion or a perceptual construct. Analytic idealism suggests that matter is a pigment of our perceptual limitations, while Advait Vedanta describes the material world as maya, illusion. Both philosophies emphasize non-duality. Analytic idealism frames this within a structured philosophical argument, whereas Advait Vedanta presents it as a direct experiential realization that Atman, individual self, is identical with Brahman. So Advait Vedanta offers direct experience, while analytic idealism uh, offers a philosophical explanation. <clears throat> Subject-object unity. Both approaches um, reject the subject-object dualism. Analytic idealism posits that all experiences are within consciousness, while Advait Vedanta asserts that the subjective and objective aspects are, a unif are unified in Brahman. These similarities highlight a convergence between Western and Eastern philosophical traditions in understanding the nature of reality and consciousness. So while both philosophies view the relationship between the observer and the observed, one is a philosophical framework and the other is a direct experience. Advait Vatanta offers techniques for direct experience of fundamental reality. But pretty close, huh? And both these approaches reject panpsychism, which assumes that consciousness is organized matter, because matter or the appearance of matter is organized consciousness. So I hope this uh, is clear, but if it's not, 
go to digitaldepath.ai and pose your query and remind you that uh, digital dharma and digitaldepath.ai will be working together to answer every possible question you have about health, well-being, spiritual intelligence, theology, philosophy, etc., spirituality, etc. Thank you.